Hey guys, so I'm gonna really quick, I wanna show you, talk to you guys about something that's kind of important um, that you may be contacted in the future with or it's just a little warning and just tell you what um, I basically knew this was a scam and I just went through with it so I could do a video so it turned out really good and um, I got everything I needed but I wanted to show you guys I know I got a lot of um, questions to show my St. Patrick's Day outfit um, I went to a parade this morning we were down there from 7 o'clock and I just got home um, I basically just wore the wet and wild and one of the palettes uh, Kind of just neutral with some e.l.f. eyebrow kit and e.l.f. liner. Winged it out a little bit. I got MAC New Lip Gloss. Um, of course, my Monroe, I never take it out. I had this since I was 13. Um, just some silver hoops. And then I got my change necklace. Um, I love this necklace just because I had a really bad, like, Oxycontin addiction um, for probably about five years. And... Um, so I do kind of follow the whole, like, you know, like, NA type of stuff, just because, like, I know, like, I'm better now, like, it took a, it was a long battle, and it was an issue I should have never had, because, you know, you don't put young kids on, you know, Oxycontin, because it's a really dangerous drug, and, you know, you abuse it, and that's exactly what happened to me, and I'm not that kind of person, like, to abuse, and, you know, I never did anything else, like, besides that, like, it was my prescription, I never did any like really illegal drugs or anything but um so I like to wear this necklace just because change and you know it taught me just I don't know I really like it anything that's like this like inspirational and really cool I like so I wear my change necklace um this bongo jean jacket underneath I have this shirt which I was telling you guys about it's very sheer so I have a black tank from Joyce Leslie underneath um, I wore the skirt that I bought yesterday. Just my cat wants to get out. Hold on. Just lower this down. This is the skirt that I bought yesterday. Um, kind of has like rips and tears and stuff. Got my fat belly right there. And then, can I say hi, Max? Um, I wore some Adidas soccer, like knee highs with, um, I don't know if you guys can see with of course my um, Adidas very uncomfortable without socks sporty sorry if you just see my hoo hoo um, flip flops without the jacket it looks like this This shirt's really cute, so just looks like that without the jacket. Now, I wanted to get into and tell you guys a little bit about this scam. Um, I have to lift this up because it's kind of uncomfortable standing crouched down like this. So let me just lift this up. And then, yeah, okay. So I got a um, I got a spam email the other day for a secret shopper type of thing. It was from this mommy biz something website and like this has happened to me and my husband in the past like where they send you a check blah 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 so I was like I want to go through with this and like I want to like see what they do and then do a video on it in case this ever happens to anybody so I decided to do it basically what they want me to do is they want me to um, go to MoneyGrams and um, give them like information on how I think MoneyGram is if it's a good experience whatever um they asked for two close addresses to your house so i gave them two that were um close to my house like i gave them the right information and all but just mind you like i have a husband that would like clobber these people so i'm not like if i was living by myself or with my parents and i was younger never give your address but i've been through this before so i pretty much know a little drill and it's really not safe to give anybody your address but whatever i did so these people been calling me from Los Angeles like crazy, like, and then yesterday FedEx comes overnight with a check, okay? Now I'm just going to cover my name. This looks so realistic. This is what they gave. That's the guy's information. It's for $2,050, $2,500 or something like that. Look at that. Like, even the detailing on it is so real. Now, this is all a scam, you guys. Like, this is totally fake. Like, pay to the order of. 
So basically, like what they want you to do, um, see my mother-in-law works at a bank, so we are giving this, hand this into a fraud agency, so whatever, um, I don't know, they like investigate it. So that's where this checks go when I would tear it up and throw it away or whatever. But basically what they have you do is they have you um, deposit this check into your account and withdraw the money while you're waiting for the fake check to clear. Um, which ends up ultimately leaving you out of money and um, with a really bad check. These numbers on the bottom are all fake and made up. They don't go to any account. Um, as le as like legitimate as it looks, it's very, very not. Like it's so fake. Um, they even have like the water print, like where you can like look and see if like it's a very realistic looking check. Like very realistic. I gave them a fake name, like a fake. Um, a fake middle name and I spelled my last name wrong so but these scams are out there now if you're like down and out for money and you really need money and you see this or you know you don't like some people will fall for this now maybe if they sent me a check for like a hundred dollars or something like that but for two thousand dollars someone just sending you a check they don't know you know nothing about you they don't know if you're gonna beat them anything definitely not realistic so if you guys happen to like get like caught up in any of this and you know I know a lot about this too because I do like reviews like scams and stuff like that like I just feel like I'm more educated in it than I've ever been I feel like most of that is because of like the companies and when I know something's realistic and when something's like fake and it's just very very dangerous you know it could really leave you down and out and it's really depressing that somebody out there in this world has to be that low to try to take somebody's savings now I got a call from the guy literally like five minutes ago and if you guys like want to mess with him here's his phone number he's calling from Los Angeles and he called at 11 12 or whatever and there's his number if you want to crank call him and mess with him there you go um, let's give him a call on speakerphone I'm gonna play along. Hopefully he answers. I'm gonna tell him I deposited the check. Damn it, he's not answering. I'm not gonna get you to call now. You took your name and you're not gonna get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, this is Jennifer. I just wanna let you know that I deposited the check I received yesterday. Um, if you can just tell me what I do now, thank you. <laughs> I love this, <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, it's a complete fraud. Like these people are so stupid. Don't fall for it. I know like younger kids might not like, you know, know it's, I don't know. You know the internet's a scam. It sounds too good to be true. It is untrue. That is my ferret scratching away trying to get out. So. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit of the day. I know I don't normally do them. I normally suck at them because I have to go all the way back here. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So happy St. Patrick's Day. And I will be back right now with the Lit Cosmetics winners. Bye, guys.